welcome to another episode of the Gridiron Mo Super Bowl Trivia Contest, sponsored by, of course, Gridiron Mo, an interactive football app where you get to call what you think the offense or defense should do during a live NFL game and see what all other fans have called also. Check out Gridiron Mo at www.gridironmo.com. As always, I'm your host, Mike Goodpaster, and I want to welcome in the last week's winner, Matt Andrew Scavage. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Looking forward to another knockdown dragout game of gridiron mode. This time, just the steel cage match, you and I, though, right? It's just for fun. <laughs> no big deal. Jeez, why do you have to make everything <laughs> life and death? I mean, to you, everything's like World War Two. I'm just sitting here right. chilling at my computer. Just You're like, hilarious. Ah, well, hopefully me and Matt will have a good competitive game. But instead, I get all this trash <laughs> talk, how we're going to have a steel cage match, and somebody might die at the end of it. Of right. course, I want to welcome in <laughs> the man who caused this debacle, Eris Presidius, the founder of Gridiron Mo. I've been called many things, but causing a debacle of a steel cage is going to be brand new for me. <laughs> That's a new one, eh? I love it. Uh, I'm glad to be on the show again and totally looking forward to the beatdown, as Matt said. That sounds scary. Let's see how it goes. I know. Matt's kind of intimidating me here. I'm kind of curled up in the corner now, sucking my thumb. <laughs> All right. Um, before we get to that, Perfect. you want to tell everybody about the superstitious contest we got going on? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of exciting things that, uh, that we want to share with, uh, with everyone. So for the last couple of weeks or so, we've been running a superstition, a fan drive, where we're asking you fans of the game to send us what special things you do on game day to make sure that your team wins. Maybe the doggy is not allowed. Maybe a family member other than the doggy is not allowed. Maybe you're wearing something funnier drinking something you shouldn't be drinking or shouldn't be combined. So we'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can see the entry forms on the gruelingtruth.net. There is a banner there that will take you to the form where you can uh, upload your, uh, your superstition or special thing, and also www.gridironmo.com. And uh, we absolutely look forward to the entry. And as soon as we get a couple of hundred of these from the fans from across the country, we're going to start to publish them and have an absolute ton of, uh, ton of fun. Now, also, one of, the we, one of the reasons it's just me and Matt this week is because we wanted to give you time to introduce a contest where people can go through Twitter, Facebook, find the Grilling Truth, find Grid RMO, and actually compete for a prize next week. Right, absolutely. So very exciting. We want to make sure that the folks that call in to the show, like, uh, like tonight and other nights and, uh, and next week and, uh, and whenever, uh, whoever, whichever one of the guests actually wins that night is going to get a $25 Amazon gift card uh, from us. And uh, you're going to have the details from Matt and, uh, and Mike, how to connect, and uh, we're going to mail you uh, a gift card. So that will be the weekly thing that, uh, that we do, and as a small way of saying thank you to the fans who love the show. So, and we will have more than one fan on. We'll have two or three where they get to compete against each other. Whoever wins, wins the Amazon gift card. So make sure you check us out at Grueling Truth. You can hit us up there. You can send us a message through our website, which is www.gruelingtruth.net. Um, you can also hit us up on the email, which is the gruelingtruth at gmail.com. So tonight it will just be me and Matt Andrew Scavage, who's, I mean, he's vicious. But I just hope that I don't get beat too bad. Oh, <laughs> now now come the gloves and the love and oh, I think Matt he's trying to make you you know like uh, be complacent, right? All that love Mike sending your way. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, it sounds like tonight's going to be a show about feelings. So oh, no, I'm just going to kick your ass. I'm just you know trying to be nice right now. All right, there he is. That's who we're looking for. But to for. me, it really doesn't matter if I win or lose. It's only how I play the game. <laughs> but, you know, if, if this is going to be about the feelings about win or lose, isn't, like, the kick up the butt a feeling as well? I just, just went, wanted to make sure that that qualifies, right? It's a feeling that Mike learned last week. <laughs> what feeling would that be? The fact that I've won, what, five of the last seven to make it seven to six. Well, well, I we had to obviously play. have a pretty good lead as well, but we've done pretty well together. You used to. You used to have a pretty good lead. We 
We're going to be tired right, after so tonight. I all right, believe. so okay. winner rules tonight. Are we going one time, winner takes all steel cage match, or are we going best two yeah, out of three? Yeah, it's a, it's a one-time one uh, gig, uh, and it's uh, the no-holds-barred two-minute uh, two minute drill. And I think that by the rules of the steel cage, is now we have to call this because of math. I think, Mike, you go first, right? Well, I, I think since Matt won, it's up to Matt. Yeah. Well, I, usually the winner defers, so I'm going to stay with that tradition. Well, if you defer, I get to go first or last. No, I defer for you to go first. Oh, no, well, that's not deferring. That's you choosing to go last. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I choose to go last. <laughs> yeah, because you're last. I'm first. All right, it makes sense. Thank you. All man. right, Eris, hit me with your best shot. Super Bowl 42, 2008. Who was the pregame entertainment? Alicia Keys, Tom Petty, or Jordan Sparks? Jordan Sparks. He says Jordan, and it was Alicia Keys. Super Bowl 19, 1985. What was the Miami Dolphins' total net yardage? 314, 123, 176. 314. 314 is correct. Super Bowl 20, 1986. How old was the Bears' Jim McMahon? 26, 28, or 25? 28. 28. He was 26. Very close. Super Bowl 11, 1977. How old was the Raiders' Ken Stabler? 32, 31, 33? 33. 33. He was 31. Very close. Oh, you get the win Super nine, Bowl 39, 2005. Oh, my God. How old was Tom Brady? 27, 29, 26? Uh, 27. 27 is correct. Super Bowl um, 33, 1999. What was the Broncos' total net yardage? 457, 323, 436. Uh, 436. 436, 457 was correct. Super Bowl 25, 1991, what was the Giants' yards gained rushing? 112, 172, 125. 172. 172 is correct. Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl 40, um, 2006, who coached the Seahawks? Bill Cower, Mike Holmgren. Bobby Mike Holmgren. Mike is correct. Super Bowl, your namesake, Super Bowl 27, 1993. What was the Cowboys' total net yardage? 341, 408, 386. 408. 408 is correct. Super Bowl 25, 1991. What was the Bills' time of possession? 26 minutes 17, 32 minutes 36, 19 minutes 27. 1927. 1927 is correct, and you timed out. Well, that's a good six right there. Eight, 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 four, five, six. Yeah, all right. Too bad Matt pushed out and just wanted to do one instead of two out of three. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember saying anything about that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> We're going to see how close this uh, this gets and then, uh, and then decide. Matt, you ready? Yes. All righty. Super Bowl 49, 2015. Who was MVP? Malcolm Smith, Joe Flacco, Tom <laughs> Malcolm Smith. Malcolm Smith, is that your final answer? I guess it's your yes, final it answer. That's not right. How old was he? Super Bowl oh, 49. you said 49? Oh, I thought you said 48. Okay, so it must have been Brady. Yeah, Go I ahead. Think, I think I'm going to give you that. Super How are you going to give him that? It wasn't. No, I'm, I, don't, I don't get that one. I'm not going to have Mike hold that over me. 0 oh, 1 1. Go ahead. Next question. Hold it over you. You got it wrong. Super Bowl 12, Super Bowl 12, 1978. Who was the pre game entertain, entertainment? Phyllis Kelly, Tyler Apache Bells, or Southern University? Uh, Southern University. I've never heard of any of these. It is Southern University. <laughs> Super Bowl 38, 2004. Who was the, what was the Panthers' share per player? 40,000? 38,000, 36,500. Let's see. You're still thinking? C. What? 36. It was C, right? It, it is C, correct. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear you. All right. Super Bowl okay. 6, 1972. Who was the Cowboys starting quarterback? Roger uh, Staubach. Roger Staubach. How old was he? 
That's not the question. <laughs> Super Bowl 23, 1989. Who coached the Bengals? Really? Sam Weiss. Uh, that's correct. Super Bowl 26, 1992. Who was the bill? What was the bill share per player? 35,000, 18,000, 34 and a half thousand. 18. 18 grand is correct. Oh, we're Super, out of time. Super Bowl 40, 2006. Who coached the Steelers? Really? Bill Coward. Bill. You got Bill. you got my phone in, so I got Bill Coward. You've got two or three coaches so far. Super Bowl 44, 2010. What was the Saints' yards gained rushing? 51, 50, or 91? 51. I don't know. 51 is correct. Super Bowl 33, 1999. Who coached the Broncos? Mike Shanahan? Uh, Yeah, Dan Reeves or (laughs) Brian Bill. Mike Shanahan. Over half your questions, man. Yeah. Can't help it. Not my fault. Super Bowl 40, 2009. Who did the halftime show? Jennifer Hudson, Bruce Springsteen, or John Legend? Which Super Bowl was this? 43, 2009. Halftime? Uh, I want to say it was Bruce Springsteen. But... You would be correct. All right. You timed out. I think it's... Uh, I think it's seven or eight, I think. Say that, uh, how many did you get here? You got nine out of ten. Yeah. yeah down. Five easy ones. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, that's a steel cage. It was a cotton cage. <laughs> Wasn't too Nobody bad. Likes but you, a smart ass you, do <laughs> you do not qualify for the All that matters, Mike, is not how you do win or lose, it's how you played the game. Yeah, and you didn't that. play it very well. I played very well. You got all the easy questions. You wussed out again. Quit your whining. You didn't win. It was You're fixed. down eight to I'm six not now. Whining. Eight. It was to six. six. It's all right. Fixed. Every the time you lose, it's fixed. Yeah, isn't, it is. it, isn't that funny how that works? Every time you lose, it's fixed. Well, yeah, because it's the only way I could possibly lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm it's staying out of it. That some, some, somewhere I read that even doing the easy one, you know, it takes skill to make sure that you do the easy one correct. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not. That's not necessarily my position. I'm just saying. I read that somewhere. All right. Well, let's wrap this up so I can play with my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, awesome. make sure you check out thegrillingproof.net. Go right, actually, the top right above any articles you read. Right when you go on the main page of thegrillingproof.net. You'll find the link to go to Gridiron Mode to put in your superstitions, what you do when your team's playing to assure that they win. A lot of great ones on there so far. We need as many people to do that as possible. Make sure next week you hit us up if you want to play the Super Bowl trivia show. There will be an Amazon gift card. Do we know how much yet, Eris? $25. So if you win, you get a $25 gift card from Amazon, which then you can go on and buy the Rage Within, my book. So that would be a good way to do that, too. Oh, that's cool. And then if you do that, you send it to me. I'll send it to Matt, and he'll sign it for you. I will. And right there, he'll tell you. And on there, he will write the head coach in Super Bowl XI for the Oakland Raiders with John Madden. Because that's the kind of questions he always gets. (laughs) Oh, my. (laughs) It's 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 so hard being you. (laughs) Oh, it is. It's real hard. But, um, guys, make sure you check out all of our CFL shows. We had the CFL Pick'em Show last night with CFL Hall of Fame quarterback Dieter Brock, four-time Grey Cup winner Robert Drummond. Um, out of left field, we had a special edition today with J.W. Gravely, who writes for 27-ounce baseball website. Um, he, he talked to Graham McCowan and Chris Fury about the trade deadline, the winners and the losers. Make sure you check out that show. Very good show. Um, tomorrow you can check out... Game Day IQ with Alan Buck and Chris Cook. That'll be out tomorrow. Um, we got any fantasy football shows coming up this week, Matt? Yes, we do. Tomorrow night, myself, Oz Davis, and Eric Zepnick will be doing our fantasy football weekly show, uh, covering lots of good subjects here tomorrow, so be sure to check that out. Well, and also, I think we're going to have, uh, from, from what I hear from listening to that show, you're going to be the commissioner of the Grilling Truth Fantasy Football League, and we'll include some fans. Hey, I'd be all for it. It's something that uh, you and I got to talk about and get that nailed down if we want to do it. I'm good. (laughs) 
Oh, I don't know how to Sounds do that. Pretty cool. no, that's too complicated for me. We'll have to get Aris in on it. Oh, Jesus. He'll pick all the Denver Broncos, so. That's right. That's right. But stick with what also, you know. Also, make sure you check out Inside Boxing Weekly, where we preview Andre Ward's title defense coming up this weekend. That's myself and Jeremiah Pricer, so make sure you check that out. Check out all the articles. You can hear the shows on iHeart, TuneIn, iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, Google Music. Anywhere you hear a podcast, you'll find the grueling truth. So, any final words, Eris? Thank you to everyone who's listening. We look forward to seeing you on the show and getting your chance for the uh, $25 Amazon gift card. And if you do anything funny on game day to make sure that your team wins, you've got to share just like the rest of us are doing because it's just fantastic stuff. So go ahead and do that. We'll be grateful. Yeah, make sure you guys check out GridArmo at gridarmo.com. Matt, any final words without being a smartass? Looking forward to hearing. Uh, I hope that uh, Eris will read all of the uh, rituals that people have even after the contest is over, as I'm sure it's a lot of crazy. Well, I think maybe what we do next week, Eric, is we'll start the show off and have you read one or two of the funniest ones. We can, uh, we, we can absolutely do that. And, uh, and I think the way it, it, uh, it will shape out is that uh, we, we may actually have all of us to get together and compile uh, a set of uh, folks that's going to judge which is the funniest one. Uh, yeah, we, we could have a we show about them. it. We could actually have the people that send it in get on the show and just tell us what their game day rituals are. Absolutely. Right. So, 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 yeah. I mean, we need to we need to make sure that we've got it in uh, in in the format that can go into the in, whatever into the post and stuff, stuff like that. It will be awesome, whether it's phoned in or written in. It will be just awesome. Yep, no doubt. And maybe we could write an article of the top ten, and put it on the website also. That's there exactly right. A whole bunch of ways that we can do all that. It will be wonderful. Yeah. I'm thinking all. I'm thinking much clear, much more clearly now. Too bad we aren't playing now. But we will be. We will be back next week. So make sure if you want to be on the show to join in all this fun in the steel cage match. You know, you might get to square off against Mally Matt Andrew Scavage in the championship <laughs> in a steel cage match. So from now on, Matt's nickname for this show will be Mally Matt Andrew Scavage. Perfect. I like this. Every time Mike, win, every time Mike loses. Suddenly, winning does not matter. So that's all good. Yeah, you know what? If it mattered, I'd have won. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But all right, guys, let's wrap this up. We will see you next week on the Grid RMO Super Bowl Trivia Show or Trivia Show. So for Eris Presidius, Matt Andrew Scavage, I'm Mike Goodfaster. You've been listening to the Grueling Truth, where the legends speak.